We welcome you to our meaningful meditation for this coming Sunday, August 11th, and we are starting a new sermon series for four weeks as we've finished up our Searching for Happiness uh, last Sunday. And as I've been reflecting and thinking about the importance of following Christ's example, I was reminded of a book um, that I read many years ago by Donald Cravel about the upside down kingdom and thinking about the ways that Jesus lived his life and how Jesus encourages us to live our life uh, is very different than the world that we live in. And as Christians, often we can feel as if we're upside down because what's important to us and is a priority for us often isn't as much for perhaps our family or friends, and we may feel kind of isolated and I wanted to look at some biblical texts to help us think about ways in which we could strengthen our own faith and witness and ways that we could um, follow Christ's example. And so this week we're going to look at the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, which is Jesus kind of introducing himself uh, in the early days of his earthly ministry. And you might recall the story when he goes to the synagogue in Nazareth, his hometown, and he quotes Isaiah talking about the purpose of him coming here to um, help the poor and to experience the freedom that God would want us to have in a world of justice. And so uh, obviously we know he doesn't get the best reaction from what he tells them. And I think it's really helpful for us uh, to build our witness and strength and looking at the ways that Jesus models that to us. And then for the next three Sundays, uh, we'll be looking at different parables from Luke and Matthew that also talk about the importance of living um, for God's reign and God's kingdom, which is often the opposite of what the world tells us here. So I think it'll be really encouraging to our journey as people of faith, as we want to be able to interact with friends and family and talk about the importance of our faith. So hope that you will uh, come and be with us in person. We'll be here at 10 o'clock and as always you can tune in to our live stream as well if you're traveling. Um, We're grateful for your connection with us. And then a couple of things to remember as far as announcements go. Uh, We are looking forward to a time together on Monday night, August 19th for all of the ladies uh, of UPC and you're welcome to invite some friends to come over to Rochester uh, to the Rochester Brewing Company and we will be meeting there at 6 30 for dinner. I will bring a devotional and some encouraging and helpful words as we seek to be women uh, of faith and so it's $25 that includes everything your meals and um, drinks and then if you want something um, a little stronger to drink you do need to pay for that um, yourself. So we hope that you will sign up on our website if you have any questions you can reach out to me or anybody from the membership life committee and then also as we start to wind down the summer and think about uh, school starting we will have our say goodbye to summer uh, cookout on the 28th of August that's uh, the last Wednesday of this month and so we hope you'll come and join us bring a dish to share and our CFF committee will provide all of the the meat and drink and the dishes for that night so just bring something that you would like to bring uh, and a lawn chair and we'll also have a bonfire that night so I'm uh, so grateful for all the ways that you are interested in engaging with us here at University of Presbyterian Church. It's a rainy day. That's why we're inside. And uh, we look forward to seeing you this Sunday. If you ever have any questions about anything, please feel free to reach out by email or give me a call. and love to chat with you about our church. So blessings and peace for your journey. Amen.